Hi friends, this is Mackenzie. Uh, I'm in beautiful St. George, Utah at the Enchada Golf Course and I thought this was the perfect opportunity to do a little golf potty. So you're going to need a mat and you can grab a golf club if you like. It's just going to help to keep our stability um, and kind of balance throughout our movements. We're going to work your kinetic chain, so the back of your muscles, um, glutes, hamstrings, and low back. We're also going to focus a lot on your core and those rotation muscles that will help you get a better swing. So get your mat and let's get started. Your shoulders back and down. You want your feet about hip width apart and big roll with the shoulders. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. A couple more deep breaths here. Uh, we're going to find a lot of strength through the legs. You're going to push your feet out so that they're nice and flat. Draw your belly button to your spine. And you want to think about tucking the glutes under so you're nice and long all the way through the top of your head. We're just going to take a couple more deep breaths here. You want to think about the rib cage uh, tightening towards your spine as you breathe. Now we have the breath and the alignment. Let's go ahead and grab your club. You're gonna keep those feet underneath your hips and draw your arms about shoulder height. We're gonna rotate and bring it back to the center. Relax your shoulder down as you rotate. You're gonna exhale through your mouth as you rotate to the side and back center. Strong core, strong glutes, and spinal rotation are important parts of your golf swing. So that's what we're going to focus on today. Good. Now let's take that golf club up above your head. Drawing your belly button in so your glutes stay under, and then just bring it back down to shoulder height. So inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. And let's put those together. So we're gonna rotate to the right, and then lift. Rotate left. And we're just getting the core warm for our work today. moving through your breath. Good. Go ahead and try to keep those hips headlights facing forward as you rotate. So you're not rotating through the knees at this point, just the core muscles. And it might not go very far depending on your flexibility, that's okay. One more time each side. Draw that uh, club right to your legs. You're gonna rotate starting at your chin. You bring your chin down to your chest and draw those arms all the way down your legs, just finding that flexibility. And again, it might not be as low as this, and that's fine. We're trying to keep the legs soft but straight. And then we roll back up one vertebrae at a time, coming back up to shoulder height with the arms. Draw your arms down, draw your chin down, reach towards the floor. And then you're like one vertebrae just hang back up to the top, reaching tall, aligning your spine. Do that a couple more times. Find that reach, find the flexibility through the back of the legs, and rolling back up. One more time, exhale lower to the floor. And inhale, roll to the stand. Good, go ahead and I'm gonna come down to your floor. You can pull out your club to the side for now. We'll use it again in a minute. We're going to extend your arms over your legs and start to scoop through the belly button as you roll towards the floor. It's going to come about halfway down and then lift back up, relaxing your shoulders down at the top. So you scoop through the glutes and lift back up towards the top. Good. Inhaling as you lower. And exhale as you lift. A couple more times here. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. Last time. I'm going to stay right 
right here, about halfway down, maybe 45 degree angle with your body. You're gonna take your right arm and open it up towards the front and then bring it back. And then switch to the other side. So your head follows the hand. You get a little rotation there. Thinking about long spine, long back as you reach towards the floor.
Good. Two more here. And last one. Let's see. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Fold forward. Inhale. Back. And we're going to stay in the sitting position. You're going to extend your arms out. You're going to have your feet about hip width apart, a little bit wider so that they're extended. Your toes are towards the sky. Your shoulders are really relaxed down away from your um, ears. We're going to rotate with your body and reach toward your legs. So rotate, reach, sit back. Good. So we're finding that rotation. It's really going to give you that strong oblique movement that you need in your golf swing. The reach is also going to extend and lengthen the legs through the back of the hamstring. One more to each side. Good. Now rolling back down to your back. And then bring your knees back in above the hips. And from here, we're going to take both legs together. So we did single leg last time. We're going to do double knee stretch with your club. So you're going to bring your Club back up above the shin and reach twice. And then you're extend out long. Reach up, up, and out. Up, up, and out. Drawing the shoulder blades off the floor. Drawing the rib cage down towards your hips. Up, up, and out. Good. Up, up, and out. We have four more like that. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Up. Up. And out. And in. Good. Relax back down to the floor. We're going to keep the club and find a rotation. So you're going to try to take the opposite end of the club. Down to the floor is and lower. So we're coming down towards the floor, arm is high and low. Good. Just starting with singles, trying to lift your opposite shoulder blade all the way up the floor as you rotate. Good work. Lift and lower. Good. 
or keep the same shoulder rotation with your upper body. We're going to start with your knees back at tabletop. So you're going to reach that club down towards the floor and reach your opposite knee in towards your chest. So I'm going to go right arm to left knee. Up. And down to jump up. And down to jump up. And down. Rotation, trying to get your elbow to touch your knee or as close as you can. Good. Seven. Six. Good. Staying at the top a little quicker. Here we go. in line with your hips as well. Arms are down nice and long. We're going to lift starting with right underneath the glutes. You're going to roll through your spine as you lift up towards the sky. Hips aligning with your shoulders. So you're one long line from the top of your knees down to your shoulders in the floor. You want to think about pushing those shoulders down and away from your body or your ears to keep that spine nice and long and to keep the neck long on the floor. Then starting right behind your heart, Going to pull your spine back to the floor, coming one vertebrae each time. Doing that again, drawing the hips up, rolling through the spine, extending long through the hips, and then we pull down one vertebrae each time, coming back to the floor. Good. Inhale, lifting up, drawing those knees in so that they stay over their ankles. Good. Inhale and lift. Exhale, lower. Two more times. Inhale, lift. Drawing in and up. Drawing the scapula together underneath your body as you raise to the top. And this is really great for aligning your spine, for length, lengthening through each vertebrae. That last one, we're going to come up and stay at the top, holding here. We're going to just do a little bit of marching. So you make sure you're nice and extended along on the floor. Your shoulders are driving into the mat and your knees are pulling in so that your knees are in line with your hips. From here, we're going to draw your right foot off the floor. You're bringing it right above the hip and then back down, switching sides up and down. So you want to keep those hips extended, the glutes working as you lift through the knees. Just a little march, but all that's moving is that one lifting leg. Everything else is connected to the floor. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good work. Finding that full extension up and down. Good. Let's take it for four. Three. Two. Last one. Stay up tall. We're going to lift that right leg back off the floor, keeping it above the hips. You're going to lower and lift, down and up. You're going about halfway down and all the way up, down and up. Keep going for eight, seven, six, five, four, keep going. You got it. Three, two, Last one, stay at the top. You can keep them in bent or extend that leg all the way up. We're doing little pulses for 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. With a knee, place it back on the floor. Go ahead and lower down and drop those knees into your chest and rock it out side to side. 
All right, moving into the other leg. Go ahead and put both feet on the floor, hands by your side. Again, drawing the hips up, starting underneath the glutes. So we're rolling through the spine. Shoulder blades come up last. And then let's roll it back down. Good, finding that nice long spine alignment. Also, as we're lifting through the glutes, we're going to strengthen through that lower back. It's going to be important as you find out that setup position on the ball. Good. Two more times here. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Last time, inhale, lift. Stride up. And stay right there. Going back to that marching, make sure you roll your shoulders under. So you have a lot of stability through the shoulders and the arms and the floor. We're going to start with that left foot this time. Lifting up and back down. Up and down. Trying to get a little movement through the hips. We're keeping that same lift throughout the march. Up and down. Up and down. For eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, last one. Bring that left leg back off the floor, right leg deep into the ground, coming halfway down and all the way up. Good. Finding that full extension through your hip. Trying to make a long line from the shoulders all the way out through the knee on that standing leg. Good. For eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, find the top. Keep any bit or extend the leg. We pulse for 16, 15, 14, 13. You got it, 12, keep going. 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, release the feet. And roll through that spine. You deserve this break, right? A little rotation side to side, hugging those knees in. Good work. All right, we're gonna go now into single leg stretch. We've done single bit knee. All right, extend those legs nice and long. So arms are gonna begin, be over the shoulders, finding that club. You can keep your knees bent and tap the floor, just like this, or drawing the shoulders up. That would be a modification of this move. We're gonna find two taps each time the leg extends. Otherwise, leg is straight to the sky and straight out long here. We hold the two and switch the two. Up, two, up, two. Good, trying to keep that club right on your shin, the same spot every time. Try not to lower those shoulders. Keep going. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold at the top. Stay right here. Now reach up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Lift for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees in and release. Woo. Good work. All right, one more movement here with your core work. And then we'll go move into your lower back. So you're going to take both legs up to the sky, reaching long with your toes. I'm going to reach that club up to your shins, just like we did in the single leg. It's stretching. We're going to go for double straight leg stretch. So you're going to stand arms and legs. Out and back up. Out and back up. Again, you can do this with bent knees and just tap the floor. You can also keep the hands over the shoulders to lessen that intensity or find that extension. Try to keep that low back flat. Heels are together, toes are slightly out. We have eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, last one, up, and in, and release. Good work. All right, go ahead and 
you're here to that hook. We're gonna extend those arms or those legs all the way out. Arms overhead, coming back to that roll up. Ooh. It's a little bit harder after that forward. All right, let's bend our knees. You're gonna come over onto your hands and knees. We're gonna find a little balance and a little bit of stability in the core muscles. So you want your hands directly underneath your shoulders and your knees directly under your hips. So you have a little bit of space in between. You wanna make sure that your back is nice and long. So we don't have any arching or any rounding. We want to be nice and long. You also want to think about not collapsing in your shoulders. So you wanna push those arms deep into the floor and the bottoms of the feet are also connected to the floor. From here, we're gonna reach opposite arm, opposite leg. So we're gonna extend right arm, left leg, nice and long. And just hold here for just a second. Finding that stability and balance in your core muscles. And now you release back down, switching to the other side. Nice extension, long through the body. And release. Do it again, extending nice and long, finding that reach. And we're trying not to move the hips or the shoulders. We want to stay in the same alignment as we reach. And lower. Good. We're going to add on to this move. So extend arm and leg. You're going to bring your elbow to your knee. Pulling in and extending back out. In and out. In and out. Four more. Four. Two. And last one. We're gonna find a pulse in the center. So bring the elbow to the knee and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and extend and release. Good, other side. Center up your body, find that the long spine and tight core alignment. Belly button presses to the spine to engage those powerhouse muscles. All right, switching sides. We're extending right arm, left leg. Now we bring the knee in together to meet. In and out for seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. And finding that pulse. Here we go. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and reach. Good. And release. All right, we're going to pull down all the way onto your stomach. So you can extend those legs out and bring your chest to the floor. We're going to have those legs nice and long and extended, keeping the feet on the floor. We're going to start with your hands directly next to your chest and pull your elbows in, pulling your belly button up and away from the floor. So you have a little bit of space here, or at least a little bit of lift. As you press your arms into the floor, elbows stay in, and we're gonna reach that chest up and lower back down. Lifting up and lowering down. So you get a little bit of work through the arms as you extend, but also through the low back as you squeeze through the glutes and extend those legs long onto the floor. You lift lower. Good. For four. Three. Two. Last one. Lift and lower. Good. We're going to add your hamstrings into this movement. So we're going to take your hands, one on top of the other, place your forehead on your hands. And you're bringing both heels up, beating your heels together, pulling them nice and close to the glutes. Lift you. And then as you lift top of the floor, you're going to straighten your legs and extend nice and long. So you're up for two and out. Up for two and out. So beating those heels in towards the glutes, nice and strong. Legs connect to the floor and then lift to your spine. In for two and out. Good. Let's do eight more like that. Seven. Six, five, four, three, 
two. Last one. Good. Find that hold to the top. A little swimming, kicking the arms and legs for eight, seven, six, five. Moving with your breath. Four, three, two, and one. Good release. Come into child's pose. Toes are together, knees are apart, arms extended long on the floor, and forehead can come to the floor. To a plank position. We're going to be on your hands and you can start on your knees with a nice open body position or come all the way to your toes. We're going to lift those heels off the floor. Toe comes off the floor. We're just staying with the right foot to start. So you're going to lift up and back down. Driving the heel up, just coming heel even with the glutes. Good. Keep that for four, three, two, and switching to the other side. Lift and lower for eight, seven, six. Keep that belly engaged. Five, four, three. No arch in the back, just a squeeze of the glutes. Two, and last one. Good, go ahead and release child's pose. Relax long. All right, we're gonna add on to that movement. So you're going to bring the knee in and then extend the leg out. If you're on your knees, you're going to bring your knee out to the side and then extend the leg out long. Out to the side and extend the leg out long. If you're on your toes, you're going to bring your knee across to the opposite elbow. So you're bringing it across and then extend out. Across and extend out. That's going to help us get that rotation with the strong core that we're looking for for golf. Hands underneath shoulders, extend long or on your knees. Here we go. Bring it across, then reach. Across, then reach. Good. Just four more like that. Four, three, two. Last one. Just hold here. No lift for eight, seven, six. You got it. Five, four, three, two. One. Go ahead and find that pull down if you need to. If you feel like you can go right into the next set, go ahead and come back to plank. If you need a couple more minutes or seconds in that child pose, that's all right as well. All right, are you all ready to start? Bring the opposite leg across. Now we're with the left leg in and out. Seven, six, five, four, Last one, and find that lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good work. Just find that breath here for a couple seconds. And then, standing leg work. If this is all the time you have for today, go ahead and push stop and come back with this next time. Otherwise, we're going to come to a standing position. So to roll those toes under, extend the arm, legs nice and long, and roll up one vertebrae each time. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of standing leg work because we know that the legs are a powerful part of our swing. So we're going to start with your feet width apart. You can put your hands on your hips. We're going to start with just a single squat. So we're going to keep those knees in line and come straight back down and straight up. So the hips are coming back. The knees try to stay behind the toes as you sit back. Keep that core tight so you're not getting a big arch and try to keep the shoulders high. Good. For eight, seven, sitting back in the heels. So your weights in your heels. Nice work for four, three, two. Last one, you're gonna stay in the bottom. I'm gonna pulse for eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Stay in the bottom, reach your arms up above the head and keep that pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stand. Good, hands by your side. All right, let's grab that club again. We're gonna sing, do that same movement, this time lifting the arms to shoulder height and we'll release. So down and lift. Again, make sure you're pushing that weight back in your heels as you sink down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, sit it down. Hold here and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now we're gonna take a stand. And we're gonna add some rotation to your squat. So as you squat down, you're gonna take your um, club over to the right knee. So you're gonna bring it down right and then extend up to the top. Now make sure you're twisting with your shoulders but your hips stay forward. So we bring it down and lift, down and lift. Good, eight more. Eight, uh, sorry, I lost my balance. Five, four, three, two, and one. Holding here, we're gonna lift your right heel your left heel off the floor and keep that weight in your right leg and pulse down, down, down. Good. Finding that stability in that standing leg for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stand. Reaching for the other leg. Feet about hip width apart. You can even be a tiny bit wider finding that nice stance. We're gonna drawing down and up, down and up. Again, hips stay forward, rotate through the spine as you lift out of the floor. Good, for four, three, two, last one. Find the bottom, holds here. Lifting the heel off the floor, down, down. Good, finding that depth. How low can you go? Here we go. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Heel down, stand up. Ooh, and shake out those legs. All right, we're gonna take a long step on your mat. You're gonna have your um, club in your hands with your palms up now. Elbows are in close to the body. We're gonna pull your heels together so your toes are slightly apart. You're gonna take a nice long step with your front leg. Good. Now you want your heels in line with each other about. You do not want your back leg passing your front leg. So make sure you have some line up heel to heel. From here, we're gonna put all the weight in that front leg. And you're gonna extend your arms as you stand up and then come back down. Good. They call this a fencing lunge. Can you imagine, I guess, with your club. You know, sword fighting. <laughs> you want to draw those elbows in right towards your body and extend just to shoulder height. Now you can slide the back foot along the floor or you can find a little lift as you come up, using a little bit more through the glutes. Good. For four. Three, two, last one. You're gonna hold in the bottom. Just stay right there. Woo. Good. Finding that nice deep burn through the quadriceps. Nice. For four, three, two, stand all the way up. And we're gonna go to single leg deadlift. So we're gonna take your toes forward now. You can extend your arms straight and re-grip your hands so that they're overhand grip. You're gonna bring your uh, club down 
towards the floor as you lift the back leg off the floor. So now we're working with glutes and hamstrings as we lower to the floor. Notice I'm keeping a nice long back. You don't wanna roll your shoulders down to get to the bottom. Although if it is too much, you can keep the back foot on the floor if that's too much balance. But still keep that back nice and flat. You lift down and up like your little pendulum or a seesaw. Good. For eight, seven, six, five, four. Lift through your shoulders. Good. Last one. Let's go down one more time. You're gonna hold this position. Staying right there. If you can, you're gonna lift those arms over your hood. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Whew. We have two sides, shall we do the other one? Stepping back to the back of your mat. Heels are together and toes are slightly out. So we're squeezing up to the inner thigh and grabbing that belly button, pulling it towards your spine. Take your other foot out, nice and long. And remember, we want the heels in line with each other, not the leg behind the front foot. Good. All right, underhand grip, 90 degree angle in your elbows. Sink into that front leg and just slide up. Arms come long, even with the shoulders as we lift. Or you can keep that back leg off the floor and tighten through the glutes as you lift. Good, keep going. Hands down. We have eight more here. Eight, seven. Keep that long step back. Back six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Stay in the bottom, holding right here. Nice, long. Can you go an inch deeper? Take that foot back a little bit. Pull that belly button in, lift the chest, elongate the spine for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and come to that stand. Woo, spicy. All right, toes are forward now. So instead of turned out, we're right to the front. You want to try to keep those hips in mind as you bend through the hips. Overhand grip on the club. And we bring it down. And up. you want to try to keep your club super close to your legs. That will help with your balance. And also help you feel a little bit more through the upper back as you pull up the body. Keeping that breath, inhaling on your way down, exhaling on your way up. Good. For four, three, two, last one, holding the bottom. Stay right here if you can, reach those arms overhead for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Woo, how are we doing? All right, let's take those legs wide. So your toes are turned out to the corners like at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna come to a wide, low squat. As you can see, my knees are right over your ankles. Make sure you're not in this position. We don't wanna plie in that way. We wanna be nice and wide. You can keep that um, club nice and close to your body. We're just gonna pulse down. Down, down, good. Strengthening the glutes, the hamstrings, the inner thigh. Make sure you're pressing out with your knees so the knees don't fall in as you pulse. Good, and remember that belly button is connected to your spine so you're lifting up through the top of your head. Pilates is all about length in our movements and that's what we're looking for here, length in that spine. Good, pulse for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, hold at the bottom. 
We're gonna lift that right heel off the floor and keep the pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the bottom, switch feet, other heel off the floor. We go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both heels down, last set of pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release. Woo. Good work. Should feel that in the front of the legs, nice and deep. Go ahead and get rid of your club. Come up to a stand. We're finding again the back of your mat, taking a nice deep inhale. Arms reach to the sky, belly stays in, glutes stay under. Roll through the spine down towards the floor. We're gonna move into a plank position. So walking the hands forward. Good. Nice and long through the body. If you need to come to your elbows, you may. We're just gonna hold here for a few breaths. Keeping that long length. You want your head and neck in line with your spine so your eyes are always forward in front of your fingertips, never behind you. Stay nice and long and lifted. And then we're gonna take that step back. So we're walking back to the stand. Rolling all the way up. Hands come above the head, inhale. Exhale, we roll through the spine, back down towards the floor, rocking hands one in front of the other. Nice and long through the spine. We're gonna take opposite elbow to me, or knee to elbow, I should say. We're gonna bring for four, three, two, and one, then walk it back. And go all the way up, back to that stand, back to the floor, take it down, walking your hands forward. Good four, three, two, one. Brace the core as you walk back. Rolling through the spine, inhale all the way up to the sky. Two more like that. Bring it down towards the floor. Walking nice and long forward. Long body, low glutes. We go for four, three, two, one. And walk it back. Rolling all the way up. Ooh. One more time, down towards the floor. Reach long. For four, three, two, one and stay. Now we're gonna bring, go ahead and come to child's pose as I explain the next move, get a little release. If your arms are tired, you can also take your hands by your side or bend at the elbows and take them directly over your head. Either way is fine. Next movement, you can stay on your hands and your knees with one knee down and one leg extended, taking your bottom toe under. You're just gonna lift head lower off the floor. Make sure your hands are directly underneath your shoulders and the movement is coming through your hips and pressing deep into your shoulders. So you're lifting up and down, just a slight tap on the floor. If you want a little bit more intensity, you're gonna pull that knee all the way into your chest and then tap down and up. We're going for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Last one, knee in, extend out, and lower down. Good, other side, bring that knee in. Again, you can take the toe under and keep the foot on the floor as you lift and lower, or take that knee all the way off the floor, tucking it in close to your chest. Here we go for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, good, draw your knees back and release down towards the floor. Woo. All right, friends, we're almost done. Let's turn it over onto your glutes. Bring it all the way back down to your back on the mat. And we're gonna take your right leg up towards the sky. You can extend that left leg long away from your body. We're gonna pretend this leg here is a tree and I want you to climb your tree. So you can come up just a little bit, bringing those shoulder blades off the floor, climbing towards the toes. Or if you can, you're gonna move all the way up the leg. That wasn't a good one. Here we go, there we go. Reach all the way up and back down. 
obviously this is a I didn't tense movement. It takes a little bit of practice. Good, trying to keep that leg long. Pushing your leg into your arms will help you reach up towards the foot. Good, let's take two more of those. Up and down. Last time, up and down. Good, go ahead and release that foot. Switch to the other leg, nice and long towards the sky. We're gonna climb up the leg and lower back down. Try not to swing your leg to pull you up. There's gonna be a little bit of movement. But try to make it minimal. Good. Big reach to this guy. Good. Let's take three more of those. Last time, reaching up and back down. And release. Ooh. All right, go ahead and extend your body nice and long on the floor. Kind of move into your body a little bit just to find that nice controlled spine all the way along the floor. We're gonna do a little stretch to cool you down. We're gonna bring that knee up to your chest and just hold it nice and tight, getting a little release through the glutes. Then if you want to release also through the hamstring, we're gonna take that leg up towards the sky, straightening it. You can grab underneath the calf or the hamstring or both. Reaching nice and long through that top leg. If you would like to deepen the stretch, you can also take that bottom leg all the way out flat to the floor. We're gonna take the inside of the leg, stretch it out to the side, stretch the inner thigh, reaching that toe as long as you can. And just enjoy the scenery. Isn't it beautiful here in St. George? All right, bring it up and across the body. You're gonna look away from your leg. You can also do this with a bent knee. Good, let's bring both knees back up to the toe. We we'll get a little bit of uh, spine release. So we're gonna bring both knees 90 degree angle, just drop down towards the floor, and then back up to the top. And other side down. And up. Try to keep your shoulder blades on the floor as you move through this position. Good. One more to each side. Down. And up. Other side. Down. And up. Good. Draw your opposite foot down to the floor. Other one into your chest. Nice release. Just relax your body down to the floor. Just stretch that knee in. And then extend all the way up to the sky. Grab an under the calf or hamstring or both. And then your hips automatically lift as you bring that leg in. So try to lower those hips back to the floor to lengthen and stretch through the back of the legs. With each breath, just relax that tension. Let it fall out through, right through your toes. I'm gonna take the inner thigh, or inside the leg and stretch through the inner thigh. Again, you can straighten this bottom leg for more intensity, or you can bend the knee for less intensity. Good, bring that leg across the body, either straight or bent, and look away from your leg. Try and keep the shoulder blades on the floor as you stretch. Lots of spine rotation here. Good, bring those knees back to the center again, locking the knees together, arms out to the side in a T position, and just lower away from me and back to the center and to the other side, down and up. Aligning that spine on the floor each time you come to the center. Nice flat back. Good, one more to each side. Good, hug the knees into your chest, grab it the hamstrings and roll up to a seated position. Just coming center on your mat. We're gonna take a nice, long, deep breath in towards the Lifting through the sky. Relax down, reaching that arm all the way across the body. And then you lift up towards the sky, opening the chest, and lower down towards the floor. Good, walking those hands through the center, over to the opposite side, reaching up and over. And then look over the chest, and close the chest down towards the floor. 
and back to the center. Rolling up one vertebrae each time, hip comes up less. Big lift all the way to the top of the head. Thanks for joining me for a little bit of Pilates focused on our golf movements. 